Hello first graders, it's Miss Miller and I am here today to read you guys another story. I miss you all so much. I hope that you're doing well and I hope that you are staying healthy and happy. So today the book that I'm going to be reading is called Koala Lu. So let's get started. The author of this book is Mem Fox and the illustrator is Pamela Lofts. Let's get started. There was once a baby koala so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lu. The emu loved her. The platypus loved her. And even tough little koala claws next door loved her. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun, or climbed a gum tree, or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lou. Soon, her mother was so busy, she didn't have time to tell Koala Lou that she loved her. Although, of course, she did. Every night, as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lou thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event and she would win. And her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time till she ached. She did push-ups till her stomach hurt and last of all, she climbed the tallest tree that she could find over and over and over again. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, how are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lou would reply. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing event and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying, Koala Lu, I do love you. Her heart was filled with hope. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their party hats. Can I do better than that? wondered Koala Lu. I must. As she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark said the kookaburra. Get set, go! Koala Lu 
koala Lou leapt onto the tree. Up and up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster, until there she was, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. Koala Lou came second. Koala Lou went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and cried her heart out. When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. And here's the picture on the last page. So I don't know about you guys, but I really liked reading that book. And my challenge to you is to tell somebody that you love them. Sometimes when we're with people all the time, like if I'm with my parents all the time or my siblings all the time, I forget to tell them that I love them, even though I really do, but sometimes we just forget to say it. So my challenge for you is to tell somebody that you love them. So I'm going to be coming on here a couple times a week to read some books to you guys. I picked out a bunch of books earlier today that I'm excited to share with you. So later this week and next week and for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing story time with Miss Miller. So I hope that you will tune in and enjoy some books with me. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.